Hi guys, I'm in the 747-8 Superjet Simulator and yesterday I asked you in the aeroplane what those two things were. There's one there, that thing there on the control column and on the first officer side and there's one here, here, this one here on the captain side. So those two things are actually the stick shaker which help, helps to tell us that the aeroplane is, is about to stall and we should make a recovery. So I'm in the simulator at 35,000 feet I'm making the speed deliberately come low. See what happens. So our current speed is 231 knots and it's slowly reducing. You can see the arrow because I've taken the auto throttle out. That's there, the auto throttle arm switch and I've closed the thrust levers to idle so the system won't put the thrust up. So as the speed comes back, this is what happens in the airplane. And uh, if the pilots were not paying attention and they were talking and you get an airspeed low indication first, there you go. That's, okay, that's telling us airspeed is low, which it is. And it, the box comes around the airspeed here and goes amber, indicating that the airspeed is too low, do something about it. If we do nothing about it, the aeroplane should start getting a buffet. And you feel it. If you were a passenger, if it was a passenger aeroplane, you'd feel the vibration and it's starting to vibrate right now. I can feel it, it's vibrating. That's the buffet and that's the stick shaker. Telling us we have to recover. We've got to, otherwise. Okay, so. I've frozen a simulator now. That's what happens and the pilot basically should make a recovery and get out of the situation. So what do we do to recover the situation? I'll just get the simulator moving again. And there you go. Disconnected the autopilot, push the nose down. There we go, the nose is down. The airspeed is starting to climb. There you go. Airspeed is climbing. I took the autopilot out. The passengers would know that something's going on because the aeroplane's now in a nose dive to get the speed back. I put, I immediately push the thrust up there. So I push the thrust levers forward to get the speed. And now the thrust is coming back up on the engines. And eventually the airspeed low will disappear as we come out of it. There you go, airspeed is low, uh, it's gone. And the airspeed is accelerating. The simulator is out of it. The aeroplane is out of it. And that's all because of this stick shaker here that tells us we're going to stall. So that's what happens. That's how we recover from a stall in the airplane. Okay, I'll put the simulator back on the ground now, but uh, that would be not very nice in the airplane. And it wouldn't be very nice for a passenger either. You'd be absolutely frightened because the whole airplane will be shuddering when the um, buffet comes on. Anyway. That's some of the warning systems we have. Hope you enjoyed it. Later.